Hello, it's Jim Hunsinger with another video update. Well, the market uh, appreciates apparently the result of the uh, election. Election has come and gone. You could see the market really anticipating this Monday. It was up. Tuesday it was up. Uh, strongly up uh, again today. The outcome was as expected. Democrats took control, a majority control of the House of Representatives. Uh, Republicans expanded their control, uh, a majority in the Senate. And so as outcomes come, it was, came just exactly as the market has anticipated it. So everybody gets a ribbon. Everybody can be happy about this and, and we can move on and focus on other things now for a change. So just in terms of the legislative outcome of the election, probably since clearly legislation has to get through both houses of Congress and signed by the president, uh, more than likely there's going to be less done in this second term from for President, uh, the second two years of President Trump's presidency uh, because of the uh, change in, in, in uh, power there in the House. So gridlock is the term that's often used. We've had it often in the last 20 years and in Congress, and so it's not an unusual situation. I think the market seems comfortable with that. Uh, a couple of things to keep in mind. The additional tax cut that President Trump was talking about highly unlikely to get through now. So you can probably take that one off the table. Secondly, uh, infrastructure spending that both Democrats and Republicans seem to be um, okay with, uh, not enthusiastic. President Trump's talked about an infrastructure bill. You might be able to see an infrastructure bill get passed uh, through both houses and signed by the president, but it'll probably be m much more curtailed than it might have otherwise been. Um, and then thirdly, trade still a wild card. Uh, no no uh, easier or uh, simple solutions to that. Uh, trade's going to continue to be an issue as we go forward. The G7 meeting's coming up at the end of this month, uh, and President of China and the United States will be there. Uh, I don't expect much to come from that except uh, maybe a photo op. So we'll see whether I, I think it's just too early for us to find common ground with the Chinese on this particular, these particular trade issues. Uh, earnings, absolutely remarkable. Uh, first quarter and second quarter earnings were up between 20 and 25 percent. We're about 80 percent through the earnings season here for the third quarter, and it's even higher than that. Looks like it's going to be between 25 and 30 percent year over year earnings increases uh, for the S&P 500 companies. So just a remarkable period of time for uh, earnings. Uh, strong employment is aligned with uh, strong earnings. And so you can continue to expect uh, the employment situation in the economy continue to look good and get even better. So the unemployment rate is probably going to go down even further as we go through the next several months and on into next year. So I still look for uh, important gains on the employment side. So the economy is just humming right along right now. Things are in, in great shape. So I just wanted to touch base with you there. Uh, big up days in the market Monday, Tuesday, and today. Uh, I think the market's signing off on uh, the results. Uh, like earnings, uh, full employment, uh, things are going along pretty well right now. So I'll stop there. And as always, as news changes, I'll get back with you. Thanks for listening.